Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Next, the fuel door latch is not open, but when I flip the switch, I hear something. So we're going to open it up, see what's going on with it. Maybe just too weak. Do, 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 do. Go ahead, flip the switch up there. Do it again. Yeah, I can feel it, but it's not moving. So it's twitching. So he came in here to get gas. You can see that thing right there. And it's got a pull on it. Where you can reach in there and pull it to open it. When you pull it, it releases it and pops open a little bit. So we're going to test this other one with the wire. Plug it in here and see if it works. Go ahead and do your latch on your door. This plunger should pull. All right, that one looked like it's working good. Okay. Do it one more time. You can see that. There you go. All right, so you got two screws in here, and you got one screw right here on this bracket here. So let me get my T25 and pull those screws and get this one out of the way and get this one in place. First thing I'm going to do is take this screw out here, T25, then I'll get the two inside the fuel door. Be careful, you drop these screws, they're gone forever. You can even use, lose that latch, it fall down there. So I uh, put these two screws in, not quite snug down, they're not tighten the one on the inside, they're not tighten these two. So we're going to test this. Now a lot of times these things break, they're only a couple of bucks, you could get them. And then over here, you should have a tether that go to your cap. So sometimes that breaks off, you decide whether or not you're going to get another one, but you can always hang your fuel cap there when you're fueling. Sometimes I'll throw mine up there and then I'll close the trunk on it, which is not a good thing. Mess up your trunk alignment. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and latch that in there. And he's going to go pull it, see if it pops out. And if it does, we're going to go ahead and replace the carpet in here. It popped out. We're good to go. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.